guys what is up welcome to a new video here we are doing some more shenanigans uh, this week I might not be working and I'm on my way to pick up the project truck so we're here in Chicago picking up the pro tote I think that's what they call it the little device that goes on the fifth wheel so you could pick up the trucks um, from the back axles yeah I'm picking that up right now while I'm waiting on the guy to show up so we could pick that up and we could get going so I'll see you guys shortly so we're at a car gas station uh, we couldn't find anything um any truck stops here in Decatur Alabama that were open at this time I guess they closed early but we're pumping diesel right now and it's taking forever so hopefully we get that sorted out quick but yeah let me go back here to show you guys we got to record earlier we got the tote on there I think that's what you call it we're gonna stop in a hotel right now and call it a night we're exhausted we drove from chicago down here we're supposed to be stopping here in about 20 minutes so yeah but look at this it looks so nice with the, the tow thing in the back check that out beautiful but yeah i posted a video I believe Sunday night or was it Monday morning either or about the project truck so we did end up um, buying it we're on our way to pick it up as you guys can tell we have to tow it back since it's, it's missing a bunch of stuff but yeah I'll be showing you guys that tomorrow so I'll see you guys when we're parked up all right as you guys can see we're at Walmart. We forgot to bring clothes, so now we're gonna go buy some clothes. And the hotel where we're standing is just down the street that way. So, yeah, I'll see you guys inside Walmart. So, we bought a few items at Walmart. Here we are. Alright, y'all, so this is the hotel we're staying at. My dad's staying over here, and obviously I'm staying over here. It's a little nice little hotel for 83 bucks. Can't complain, better than staying in the truck and idling all night. So I'm gonna get catch a movie, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, so we're picking up the truck. We got our attached already. We're just tying down some minor hitches. Y'all can see it rough shape but it'll be looking nice there we go what we do when we tie these down we just throw the chain under the whole suspension and then up here as you guys can see we just hook them on together and you have to uh, put it in between the the differential and the S-cam because if you put it on this side of the S-cam you're going to bend that S-cam so if you guys ever tow something make sure throw it under the whole suspension pull it in between the S-cam and the differential tie them up like this and then back here when coming up throw it in through here loop it around and then through here and you guys should be good so yeah we're gonna tie this down and get going all right so we pretty much got everything tied down we got the lights going across all the way to the front we had to strap these because it doesn't have the pipe on top to, so it could hold it so we threw a strap over the top we got the lights working we got a little pilot lights in the front 
But yeah, like I said, little by little, we're gonna be fixing this truck up. Making it look nice again. First thing that's coming off is right here, so it could be like mine. That clean back. So yeah, we're gonna get going. And I'll explain more details once we're back up in Chicago. So I'll see you guys on the All right guys, so as you can see, we already made it here. Pulled it off the hook. Stuff worked up. Yeah, so we're all parked up. We got our little diesel tank. <laughs> but yeah, she's ready. Hopefully later we can start cleaning this whole thing up. I don't know if you guys can tell. Look at all this dust right here. That all that all came out from the van, so we're gonna be blowing some air in there and see if that cleans it out but yeah for the most part it's here it's unloaded we made it here safely to Chicago you guys could tell yes so yeah I'm gonna go turn this in to the guy and get back here and start working on it so I'll see you guys thank you we just got back from dropping off the things and I was just checking my truck and as y'all could tell I'm out of brakes so I'll be switching those out real quick so I think this is gonna be the last part of the video hopefully I didn't mess up the, the drum but yeah let me get that done start by taking off the wheel and I'll see you guys so you guys ain't gonna be able to see the part right there so this little spring goes on no this little spring okay this is how they're supposed to be on the truck it doesn't matter which side you put them on so this goes on here and then this goes in this hole right here and then before you take them off you have to pop this spring out in order for you to release them from the S10 and be able to pop them out easily. This one you don't have to pop it out, it comes out. They both come out together, so. But yeah, check that difference out. I'm gonna lower this leg. Look at that difference. Alright, let me put them on and I'll see you guys shortly.
us by doing the big one. in there that's in there it takes quite the time and then this one just goes like this and that piece should be popping in this little hole so I'm gonna go ahead and put that it's pretty hard to record with one hand and put this with the other hand so it takes two hands to do it so yeah let me put this on and I'll show you guys when it's done. All right, so we're all done here. And the shoe is on. It's on there, I just gotta adjust my, my slack. And put the tire on. So let me get with that and 